focus. There you go. It's a cute jar. We're making croaking bushes. What? Would you like an apron, Betsy? I don't know. I have scissors for a really long time. Friends, we are making croaking bush. I'm talking to you, Bailey from the future, Nick, Courtney, family, and maybe even future me. You're going to love that, Bailey. <laughs> don't um, put that in there. Oh, it's already. Psst, that's It's in there. We're straining the custard just in case we got any cooked eggs in there. Yeah, that custard is so strained. Very good straining of that custard. Could you please be in focus better? <laughs> I'm a blur! What we're doing? Um, we're doing what Betsy tells us to do. Okay. Uh-huh. And what's the, what's the end game here? Uh, to have a tasty treat. A little puffs in a tree shape with caramel sauce. Puffs? Yeah, like cream puffs. Cream puffs. Mm-hmm. Are you excited? I'm pumped. Good. I, uh, yeah. Very much looking forward to eating a dish that's, a dessert that's supposed to serve 30. I believe. Yeah. I believe in us. You gotta be a believer. And what stage are you at right now? The stirring the butter stage? The stirring the butter, yep. Can you say boiling? Crunchy. Are you single? Good. Yeah. Oh, it is boiling. All right. It's simmering. That's it's a simmer, Betsy. Oh, that's not boiling. Okay. Yeah, that's a simmer. Should I use your flour that's or the not flour boiling. I bought? Whichever your preference is. I think that flour is still good. Last one. Wow, things have progressed since like one minute ago. Tell me about that. Um, I'm stirring. Again, just doing what Betsy told me to do. She's our trustworthy taskmaster. Mm -hmm. Who closed the my door? It is freaking hot in here. Oh. I closed it because it was really, it was getting cold. It's like a winter wonderland out there, people. This looks like Play-Doh. Just kind of work your hands through it, see if it has the consistency <laughs> of Play-Doh. There's some. Oh wait, those are all empty. No, there are. There's 12. Six. 20. Six. Bailey, can you make the kitchen brighter? No. A good photographer or videographer would make the best out of this situation. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty glossy, right? Does that look glossy to you? Okay. We're gonna start uh, piping the croaking bush. We're listening to French music, eating French stuff, probably. Please. I just had a Twix. Um, working in a small kitchen, which is very French, probably. If you're one of the French people with a small kitchen. Real estate is a premium in France, I've heard. Bailey's putting eggs into a ramekin. Ramekin is, of course, a French word. Yeah, ramekin. Tell us about your necklace, Bailey. That's a good story. Um, my necklace? Yeah. Is... Can you stop clicking so much so people can hear? Uh, it makes up a circle. I don't know where it is. Yeah, we need more detail. Right here, a quarter of a circle. Um, okay. My sisters and I all have one. So how many degrees of arc so would that be, a quarter of a circle? Bailey? Yeah, we're, we're cooking. Yep. Don't you think it's a little bit sexist that the two women are cooking and the man isn't? Guys, we're straight up piping croaking bushes. Okay, so, you want me to push? Yeah, oh, Bailey. A good idea. Like that? Yeah. And then egg wash? Betsy, what show was it that you learned about croaking bushes on? Well, I learned about them before. Saw them on Zumbo. Zumbo. Huh? Zumbo. These croaking bushes are as seen on glasses flare, as seen on Zumbo. Zumbo? Zumbo. It's a. Australian dessert company. It's an Australian dessert program that you can watch on Netflix. No, it's like. And Betsy saw Croken Bush, or whatever we're making, and decided that we should try to make it, which we are doing now, which is among the more ambitious things we've ever done in our life ever. Probably even more so than having two kids. Or getting a PhD. <laughs> more than PhD, than master's PhD. degrees. All you have to do for that is just to keep going and not give up. Croken Bush, you can easily screw up, so. This is much more ambitious. Betsy basically got a PhD in her sleep. I certainly never saw you do any work. <laughs> oh, I guess you don't have it yet. Maybe a job making croaking bushes. You Put really that... should have asked Rotman how to pronounce this. Doesn't he know French and stuff? That's true, we should have asked Rotman. Well, he only knows French because he lived in Canada, but now we live in Canada, so we're, <laughs> we, we also now parlay. <laughs> Didn't you take French in high school, Daniel? Yeah, two years. That's well, why I'm so good at French. French exam oh my god! Yeah. Right. Yeah, Betsy, Betsy actually knows French too. Yeah, but I took two years in high school, so you can guess that my my French proficiency is pretty uh, 
Parisian. I thought that when you said they were puffs that there would be cream in the middle there of them. There will be eventually. Will there? We have to put the cream in. Gosh. Will we? No, you don't we trust can. me, do you? You can, you can do it. Baileys are looking pretty rough. They are. Guys, I'm not sure if it's been pointed out yet that this particular dessert that we're making among the three of us beats 30. <laughs> so, if this video gets up in time, come on over. Dana, you should do this. You have strong hands. We don't need a man, Betsy. <laughs> He just has like weirdly strong hey. hands. Classy. French people love subtle, right? They're, they're subtle. Mm -hmm. French people are very subtle. Beauty. Sugar. 